Hello, cybersecurity professionals. Uh, one of the lessons that we are working on is uh, creating an, a hash. Uh, hashes are very important for secure documents that you want to protect its authenticity. So let's say you're working on a password document. You're an administrator of a team and you're working on a document for passwords, maybe a document for payroll. Maybe it's a very important memo sent to the CEO of the company about uh, hiring for the upcoming year. Whatever it is, when you actually send that document over the network, to an actual recipient. You want to make sure the information that you sent is the same thing that is received. So uh, in the world of cyber security and being a professional, you'd want to provide that receiver with what's called a hash. All right, and there's a lot of ways you can create a hash. And you can see one that I have up on the screen here is uh, an online hash calculator. And MD5 is just one of the options that you can choose to create a hash. There's a lot of other algorithms out there uh, that are used to create hashes. You can see there's just a couple here with uh, a SHA-1, uh, uh, a SHA-256, but we're going to use the MD5 hash here. And I'm going to explain how. And, and normally this would not be here. Sorry, I was working on a demonstration purpose for just a couple minutes ago. So we need to get what is called the file checksum or a hash. Okay, so I'm going to simply open up a notepad uh, document real quick. Uh, again, this could be an Excel document with some very important financials, maybe uh, uh, an, an access database with uh, whatever, very important information. You want to make sure it has a hash. So I'm just going to really quick uh, uh, act like this is a memo to CEO of Lang's Oh my goodness, if I could type this morning, of Lang's Enterprises. All right, so who is it from? It is from the uh, HR department, and uh, the subject is going to be about hiring in 2021. And uh, this is the message, hiring in 2021 is going to increase by 25 percent all right and so here it is you have a very important document and I'm going to save this by simply doing a control s on my keyboard and I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to give it a name of hiring 2021 all right so I named that uh, that file has now come over to my desktop and here's the file right here it's a, a simple text file uh, hiring 2021 so I'm gonna drag this off to the side a little bit and all I'd have to do now to create this hash is, is drag this into this area right here where it says to drag it and you can do it up to four gigabytes and now this is the hash this is the hash that you would want to send to the actual recipients via an email or maybe a separate document. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new document, new notepad, and uh, I would want to send this hash with it. So let me go ahead and copy this hash with a control C and a control V and put it there. All right, you never want to send the hash in the same exact document. All right, so now I know the hash. So what I could do is, is all right, let's just pretend, hypothetical, I just sent this uh, document to the CEO of Langs Enterprises. They received it. They received the hash. They, too, would download this document, drag this into the online hash calculator, and then they would grab the hash and copy it and they would come over to the calculator and paste it in and you can see those check out. But what if? What if somebody in HR would happen to have gotten this document or somebody else and changed the word increase to decrease? All right? That document has now been authored. Its authenticity has been altered. It is not the same document. I'm going to do a control S to save that. All right, and now if I would happen to put this into, let me go ahead and delete these real quick, delete that one and delete that one. So again, I'm the CEO, I get it, I drag it into here. I then go and grab the hash that was sent to me, the original hash, again, to check its initial authenticity, and I paste it in here. They do not check out. They're not the same hash. Something, some way, somehow, along the way, that document has been altered. All right. 
So uh, you're going to see where a lot of things online now where you can go and download uh, uh, content online is going to include a hash. Whenever you download those, those maybe an executable file uh, for a program that you're going to install or whatever it is, they're going to have you're going to see more and more of those documents and those downloads provide you a hash so that way you can check its authenticity is it what the original programmers or whoever uh, uh wanted you to receive on the end so uh it's it's a very important secure thing to learn and to utilize as a cybersecurity professional so thank you for joining me on this uh, great adventure on creating a hash and why we create them and the importance of them have a great day everybody